challenge. Anyway, um, what's up today is the sketchbook challenge that is music, and it's number 35. After today, we only have 15 left, so the light is at the end of the tunnel. So what I want you guys to do today, I obviously want you to fill a page, and it's a music theme. It can be any music theme that you want. So there's a couple different ways to approach this. You could pick your favorite band or your favorite music artist. This could be a music composer, or it doesn't even have to be a person. There could be a theme, maybe a certain kind of instrument, or it could be something like jazz or it could be a certain genre of music. There's a lot of different ways to approach this. But what I want you to do today, what I really want to challenge you guys with, we're getting a little bit further into our sketchbook challenges, and so I want you guys not just to, okay, what's the challenge today? Yeah, I'm gonna fill the page. Okay, got it, it's music, cool, I can do it. I really want you to think about this one, and whatever your theme is, or whatever person or band that you pick, not only do I want you to fill the page and try to draw it well, in particular today, I want you to use feeling. And I want you to try to infuse some kind of style or some kind of emotion into what you're drawing. So if you're like me, a lot of times us artists, even if we're visual artists that don't know, like if you don't know how to play a guitar or anything like that, because we're already artsy and because we're already very sensitive, like a lot of times we'll tell people, oh, I'm really into music. And your friend might say, yeah, I'm into music too. I love music just as much as you. And then we're always like, no, you don't understand. Music moves my soul. And they're like, yeah, me too. And we're like, no, you don't understand. Music is everything to me. You guys probably listen to a lot of music when you're doing your sketchbook challenges. So here's what I want you to think about. Just as an example, if you were drawing someone like, let's say, John Williams, who conducted and composed the scores for like the Star Wars films and the Harry Potter films, if you were to draw him, you might draw him uh, wearing a tuxedo or something like that, or something that just speaks uh, classically trained and just something that's majestic, something that feels, has that kind of feel to it. And obviously you'd be trying to draw it so that it looks like John Williams, but there's just something about it. You'd be trying to give it a different flavor where without even hearing the music, just in the artwork alone, you can kind of feel the majesty of all that is John Williams. Conversely, if you were drawing, say, Rob Zombie, again, you would probably also be trying to draw it realistically so that it looks like Rob, but Rob Zombie's music is very different. So what could you do to just in the style of drawing, in just the way that you do the line art, is there anything that you could do that just uh, has that edgier kind of rockabilly uh, rock and roll sound? Uh, conversely, if you're doing, say, a gangster rapper, is there something you can do where it just has this really cool, maybe almost kind of a, a graffiti style look to it or something like that that just speaks a little bit more, I don't know, hip hop or something like that? So I wanna challenge you guys to not just do something music related, not just fill up a page from side to side, but I want you to just have something a little bit more evocative, something that just really speaks to that music, whatever the style is, whatever the genre is, and really incorporate that into your art. Give me something with feeling. I want something that's gonna move me. So that is your challenge for today. video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel <laughs> notification bell or you go to hello Matt underscore Bush underscore Instagram that's my Instagram